Hello guys, how are you doing today? Thank you for stopping by my channel, I appreciate you. So today we're going to talk about migration, Unreal Engine 5 a little bit because I've already covered that a bit before, and Gateway. It's mainly going to be migration, but of course it ties into Gateway, so I have to talk about that a little bit too, otherwise it just wouldn't make sense. But yeah, all timestamps are down below, feel free to pick on any of them if something might seem more of interest or if something is a bit boring to you. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, if you have any ideas, Maybe I'm talking absolute nonsense at some points because this is pretty much just personal opinions and what I think it should be like. There will probably be a few holes in there that you'll be like, hmm, but that won't work because of this. And just let me know down below. Let's have a discussion over it. Let's figure it out and hopefully be correct about it. <laughs> I think I've got some good ideas. But anyway, let's get on with it. So what is migration? Migration, just like even nowadays in real life, let's just look at it as point A to point B. Food runs out from one area and the dinosaurs, elephants, whatever animal you can think of that's a herbivore, let's say, will need to migrate because if their food is depleting and it's not growing back quick enough, they're going to have to go to the other side or well, to point B, let's say. They have to cross all sorts of dangers just to get food again or water now this is quite normal in our animal kingdom nowadays as well as it probably was back in the dinosaur days and that's what they want to implement which i think is really cool i think it's gonna add a whole other game in this in itself within the actual game now i've been looking forward to migration for a long time now it was meant to come out in update 6 and of course it didn't it didn't come out in update 6.5 either it did annoy me a little bit but by all means if they're perfecting it i can wait i'd rather get a good you know migration system than a bad one If we look at the gateway map now, as you can see it here, I'm going to use this as an example for a lot of my points. Do a little circle down here and you do a little circle up there. You can imagine that being the path. Now, of course, the map is pretty damn big, so there's a lot of ways they can really do migration. I mean, even from going from this side all the way to that top there, I think that might be a bit too much. That might actually be <laughs> an hour or two or three of walking. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure how big the map is again, of course, but yeah. So what my ideas are pretty much is, well, hopefully not to have just one migration path because people will learn it straight away and so will predators and you should always make it exciting. So hopefully it could be something that the computer generates itself and it knows where food should spawn next. You know, they create kind of paths, let's say random paths. That would be great. But in most honesty, it's probably going to be two to three to even five migration paths they might just rotate or maybe that will be random of how that will come out you're gonna have food growing on one side it gets depleted because your herd is there so now you have to start moving and that's going to be really good fun especially if they if they take these land bridges here or whatever it really is i think it's just a land bridge and they use that because then they could use the tides as well to so some of the land bridges kind of disappear or big chunks of it disappear that will create so many fun and scary interactions it's gonna be unreal now, of course you want to leave the islands out of it apart from that big one that i just pointed out because it wouldn't make sense with those ones there that could probably be islands more for petrus you know or other or dino sucus let's say maybe they might swim there So Gateway is going to be the new map, as pretty much 95% of you people watching this right now already know this. It's going to be the map that's probably going to change the game to a much brighter future. It really does look like they thought about everything when it comes to here. It looks fantastic, even just from this aerial view. You've got all these domes as well. And as you can see here as well, probably looks like it's from the volcano, maybe also where lava was. And maybe when the tides go up, they get filled up with water. That would be kind of cool. Again, that can give a lot of challenges if you're migrating. And one thing I wanted to kind of point out that could help and tie in into migration, which they kind of do now already, but I guess when you have more playables, maybe it would then make more sense. But this kind of ties into also apexes here. So for example, if you were to corner, if you just, let's say cut this map into four pieces right now, right? You could probably cut it up into a lot more, but let's just keep it simple. So you got A, B, C, D. Let's say A is T-Rex, B is Giga, C is, is Acro, D is, I don't know, Allo. So you got, let's say your mid, you got your, your big mid tiers there, and you got your pseudo apex and you got your apex. But either way, what my point is, it's going to be like, let's say the strongest of their kind. And they run that area. Now, of course, they can, any of them can go across the map. They can go into other territories. They can go anywhere across the map. But if it's tied in with herbivores, for example, as you have now, let's say Utah has to eat stegos. You know, of course, there's a lot more. So Utah's going to stay near stegos, right? Because that's part of its diet. 
Now Stegos might go here, here, and here. So Yuta is going to constantly follow it. But Stegos are probably always mostly going to eat here because their diet's probably usually always going to be there unless they need to migrate. So when you have all these apexes or whatever you want to call them in their areas, they're going to hunt certain dinos. Let's say Stegos always here. So Alo is always there. That's his main predator. But obviously you have other ones like Yuta too. But then when Stego has to start moving, there are other dinos that the Alo can hunt. Let's say maybe they'll be able to hunt Diablos and Diablos are also near where Stegos are. But they all have to migrate because their food is now on the opposite side of the map, which is now, let's say, Giga territory. The Alo is going to have a choice. He can either stay around, pick off the very few that might not end up going or start eating other dinos that are not really part of its diet this is why i think there should be a preferred diet not in a way that it is now i feel like there should be let's say again an abc kind of system c would be you can eat it it won't kill you it'll just feed you though it won't give you any nutrients b would be it'll give you some nutrients but obviously you have something better which is a let's say stego is the a diet for it and diablo is a b diet for it and it can eat yuta that would be a c diet it can eat it it won't do anything it'll eat some diablo it'll give it something you know a bit more of a buff in whatever sense they think is best let's say and then a of course we prefer so then that's up to you that gives you three choices right there really to do something with that one dino you see how many games it opens up and this is just with migration but i feel like this will be quite a good way the arrow can follow the stegos now all the way across the map try and pick them off but as soon as it starts getting near to our territories you start to bleed into other territories now of where the t-rex might be so now you've got more challenges you know you're gonna have more predators to face off so as a predator you're gonna have a lot of fun you're gonna be like damn okay i need to be sneaky here or i need to be more faster with my actions i need to kill something now or i'm just gonna leave it and i'll wait for them eventually to come back when they have to migrate back and then on the herbivore side you've got danger on every angle how is that not exciting but it ain't going to be easy if it's all done properly and it's you know the herbivores choose to go you're going to have big herds going it's not going to be easy to pick them up which also means that more dinosaurs will work together probably will also get more mixed packers of course so yeah that's pretty much my ideas for migration let's say it's uh, quite simple i think you know you pretty much crisscross you know hopefully there'll be quite a few paths so it won't be so easy to judge and learn and even if it will be because even in real life predators get used to knowing that okay this is kind of where they go just because that's how they run into all these herds that's how they run into it. apart from being able to smell a lot of buffaloes as a lion or whatever they're gonna know they have to cross here all the time to get food or they have to cross there hence why you got crocodiles and rivers all in the same place because they know they're gonna have to have a drink there to stop by or they're gonna have to cross there same kind of thing but i find it exciting and i think it's gonna be amazing when it comes out and this map it's looking crazy it looks like there's gonna be a lot of places to hide to explore of mountain ranges definitely looks like it's gonna be there's gonna be spots for every single dino that they release i cannot wait this map and migration tied together they're gonna really make the game into something crazy But yeah, give me your thoughts on migration. What do you think it's going to be like? What do you hope it's going to be like? Because it's in terms, it's quite a simple mechanic that can be made quite complicated for a positive outcome. But I also don't think too many people give it too much credit to how well it can make the game run and work. And again, like with Unreal Engine 5, with how it's going to make the map look like, how it's going to make the game run more smoothly. These are all things that, that might even, probably even more important than other playables at the moment. Of course, in a perfect world, gateway, migration, and let's say two more playables come out at the same time probably will happen like that maybe migration might get pushed a little bit more further down and in terms of humans that's another thing to talk about too of course that's hoping that they fix it so they don't fatal error your computer and they actually add some more stuff to the humans so they're not going to be just npcs even though i'm kind of against humans a little bit like i do want to play them and it, it's always funny to see humans running around that just look like plebs, but obviously that's not what they're meant to look like. They're not meant to just look like idiots that walk around and T-pose when they die, you know. But let's just say in, in a, again, a perfect world, humans work out with the dinosaurs. That's now a third party. You're going to be able to, even, even just watching what's unfolding, like kind of almost like watching a YouTube video, you know, or watching a movie. You're going to be looking at all these things happening, what's hiding in bushes. That's going to be quite cool to see. And when you interact with them, them. maybe some dinosaurs some herbivores will be friendly towards you and they'll allow you to just walk with them you're gonna be amongst all that danger you know when all these predators start actually coming that's gonna be cool or you're just gonna have a car and drive right into a diablo because fuck it right you're probably gonna be a dickhead if you're playing humans because everyone will be because i know i probably will be if i get my hands on a car 
or something if that is actually i do believe that's gonna be in a game like something like simple then i'm definitely gonna hit some dinos put it that way but that's also why i think it's a very good idea for them not to be in the fucking game because i feel like that is going to not help the situation But yeah, that's migration. I just wanted to speak about it because I had this idea floating around in my head for a while and I always wanted to speak about it. And since I've been doing a few videos now like this where I'm talking about stuff and you guys have been enjoying it. So I thought, I thought why not? Let's talk about this. Of course, it's not that long because it's not that much to talk about and I don't want to bore you for half an hour because then I'll just be repeating myself. But yeah, if you guys got any ideas of what you want me to do next, I've already had a few people ask me to do Gateway when it actually comes out. Like, is it worth buying the game? So I definitely got that in mind for when the game comes out. But from now till then, if you guys got any ideas or anything you want me to talk about, or any thoughts or ideas that you want to hear from me, then let me know down below. But yeah, apart from that, you guys have a great day. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one. And of course, peace.